The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission has put together a two-day capacity training workshop for journalists on understanding the working and functions of the commission in fighting corruption in the country. The workshop is holding at the ICPC headquarters in Abuja. Plus TV, Emmanuel Ejene has the report. The two-day capacity building workshop is the initiative of the management of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission to boost the quality of reportage by journalists covering the beat. While welcoming participants, chairman of the commission said there is need for a proper understanding of the laws that set up the ICPC and collaboration with the media in order to reduce fake news reporting. We have a duty to close ranks about deciding how we will continue to communicate professionally bearing the risk of misreporting and fake news in mind. Because fake news and misreporting threatens all of us. It threatens the stability of the state and it threatens uh, professional competencies and our livelihoods. I want to close by urging you to use this opportunity to establish a relationship with us not just a relationship that demands of us that we should tell you when we get a high profile fish that we are investigating, but a relationship that helps us to discuss about how to deal with this culture of corruption, what are the challenges that we face, what are the challenges that you as journalists who report these things and are also attacked and at risk globally that you face. According to the commission, about 424 projects across the country have been tracked with most either shoddily executed, incomplete, abandoned, or cited on private properties. The ICPC assured that many of the culprits were arrested, prosecuted, and monies returned back to government coffers in many cases. How can we make sure that this brown envelope regime does not exist anymore? How do we make sure that casual casualization in the media industry Cease forthwith. How do we make sure that investigative journalism is promoted? How do we make sure that the values, the, the, the nobility, the, 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 the respect, the, 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 you can give me as many adjectives as you, associated with the journalism is restored? The Commission also took participants into core areas of its operations. Essentially, we focus on things that concern governments and government officials. Their relationship with themselves, or their relationship with members of the public, regards to the issue of fraud, issue of corruption, issue of money laundering, issue of public contract, and so on and so forth. But we all don't throw the petitions under the table and say we can't do anything. First of all, we acknowledge to the person who has sent it in that we receive the petition, but we do not have the power to investigate. But I will forward it to the police or then any other relevant law enforcement agency. Several other papers were presented, but not without calling on the media to collaborate in the fight for the benefit of the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.